What's up YouTube? This is my latest batch of mead. And uh, this is the second batch I've ever done. I didn't advertise or video the first batch. But this is the second batch. It's been in this uh, fermenting jug for about a week. It'll be a week on Sunday. Today's Thursday. Uh, I just added a little bit of cherry juice to it to uh, give it some more sugar to for the yeast to feed on. And uh, it's doing really good. This is a three-gallon jug. As you can see, it's very active. Look at all that activity. So, I added cherry juice. Apparently, that style of mead takes on a reddish hue. It is referred to as Viking blood. But I thought this was pretty cool. Um, the first batch was a gallon. And it's going to take probably another four months before it's it's aged enough that you would want to open it. And that was just straight yeast and honey and, of course, water. But there was nothing else added like fruit or fruit juices. So I'm... Curious and excited to see what happens with this. I decided to go with a bigger vessel because if I'm going to take the time to wait four months to a year to try it, then I might as well do a larger batch if I'm going to wait longer or if I'm going to wait that long. So, more to come later. But yeah, I'm really excited that. Uh, this is how active it is, and this is how well that it's doing. So, one more step towards independence, and hopefully when the zombies come, I'll have a buzz. This is Our Knives and Survival. Have a good one.